All right, Rachel, thanks. And research estimates over 33 million people in the U.S. have a food allergy. Around half of that number have severe reactions. And over 130 people die each year from food allergy exposure. So tonight, our Pennsylvania Capitol correspondent, Kara Jeffers, has details on a bill in Harrisburg that would limit food allergy danger. 19 months ago, Matthew Bryden, who had a peanut allergy, ate out at a Pittsburgh restaurant. And what he thought was safe food was actually contaminated. He injected two EpiPens, drove to the ER, was admitted, and 38 minutes later, he died of anaphylactic shock. Matthew's parents have advocated for more food allergy safety in the state ever since. The U.S. Food Code has cross-contamination rules for restaurants, but education and awareness can still fall short. Representative Arvind Venkat wrote a bill with the goal of filling gaps in communication. The legislation that we passed today, House Bill 1869, would require restaurants in our Commonwealth to have a display for their employees in a written manner about food allergies. The bill will also require restaurants to print a notice on their menus that reminds and requests customers to inform servers of their allergies. House Agriculture and Rural Affairs Committee passed the bill to the House floor this week. Restaurants do put food allergen safety to practice, like Roxy's Cafe in Harrisburg that has a regular with a pork allergy. Well, we clean everything, we clean the grill, whatever he asking us. He's come pretty much all, all the time here. But owner Armando noted how requiring signs could build confidence. Okay, if you choose this restaurant, say, I like it, the food, but you know, they don't take care of it, you know what I mean? It's kind of a risk. You feel more comfortable to go anywhere if they have this kinds of new rules. In Harrisburg, Kara Jeffers, Erie News Now.